Hi guys, so in today's video, we are going to install the Nexus launcher, which is a brand new launcher for the Android N. I guess, and we, we will be seeing the, that launcher in Nogat, uh, as per the Google says, or whatever. <laughs> Sorry for the brightness. Okay, that would be good. So I have not installed it because it needs root and custom recovery. So I have chosen this U Euphoria running Cyanogen Mode 13. Like it's the closest to the uh, like uh, stock Android. So let's just install that. Reboot to the recovery. You have to flash the specific zip by the developer. He has just I don't know how he leaked the launcher, but here we go. He must be working something on that project. Maybe a beta worker. Or sometimes the source gets released uh, on the GitHub and uh, people tend to compile the APKs and just leak it. I don't know. I've not been that further as you can see. The leak nexus launcher zip is over here. Just flash it. And if you want to know how to root or uh, install a custom recovery on your device, just check uh, on the Google. It will be available. Just don't ask me because it's a very different process for every another device. So that's it. I am hoping that we will not see some issues. But this is also a marshmallow. And uh, the developers tested were on uh, developer 3, Android Nougat. Or as you can see, Android N 7.0. Sorry if I sound a bit awkward. I have a really high fever right now and I can't speak. Maybe the live HDR works on the Galaxy 7 I'm using right now. Okay, so the device has been now booted up and as you can see, I am just got an error and there is the Nexus launcher. Let's just check it out always. It should be working. Oh, and it's working. It's just loading some stuff. As you can see, you don't get a menu or a, uh, as you can see, a app icon. Just a simple uh, plain home screen, a Google uh, over here. And if you want the oil apps, you can just touch it or just drag it out. Pretty convenient way and it's a bit smooth actually than the stock Google Now launcher. It just felt a bit laggy in the before where it was just arranging some stuff. But now it uh, like looks pretty good actually and it may be working on lollipop devices too not only some uh, marshmallow as I'm testing out right now. But as you can see here are my all apps search apps is also there. Pretty much working everything is fine. Google now is also here you can just search over here or tapping the app will open the app. I guess yep. That's it. So let's just check it out if you get some new wallpapers from the nugget new wallpapers app okay wow pretty cool wallpaper stack and there is shit done no okay <laughs> only two let's just apply one because it just like crashes i guess as the developer says okay okay actually it's a like shit. wow or uh, they are just downloading right now from my Wi-Fi, I guess. Because Google never implements this much wallpapers in their system. Only 3 to 5 material ones as per their device or something like, what do you say, Android version. But this is just mind blown. I like this one. Okay, so they are now downloading with the Wi-Fi. Vivek Vijay Kumar, Indian one. Where this guy has gone to? <laughs> this is just uh, amazing. And we can explore the thing, I guess. Wow, where he had captured that. And it's working, I guess. Wow. But actually, if you see, it may be a bit awkward. My for a mom uses this device. This may be awkward for her. But this actually looks very beautiful. I like this. Like the layout, everything, the thing looks. It's very beautiful. As you can see, this widget is not resizable. It's just over there. Yes, pretty much if you just create another home screen it will go away and you just drag it up new one and it's not there okay so it's just convenient to the main home screen not everywhere but the animations are much smoother like it can easily run on any low-end device this is pretty much a 120 dollar phone 
looks and works again so the way google is now going it's very like something developerish not a user friendly thing if you come from the iphone you will definitely like find this one difficult to use it's just very awkward so guys thanks for watching this was my installation and review for the new nexus launcher which you get on the android n so thanks for watching peace